Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at how to use the math functions contained within the math module. We've already looked at how to do some basic mathematical operations and we've explored some new mathematical operations called modulus and integer division. Now we want to look at how to use some built-in functions. And so what these are are predefined tools that you can give some information to and then they'll generate some value for you to use. Now what I want to stress here is even though we're looking at the math module, the same principles apply to, to a wide variety of modules. There are thousands of modules within Python 3. Each contain their own set of functions that are really useful. So even though we're talking about the math module, I want you to think about this as a larger, larger learning piece. So the first thing you're going to do is go online, pull up a Google search, and look for the math module in Python 3. And it should bring you to this documentation. It's really important you know how to read this documentation. We'll take a second and talk about that. You'll find experienced programmers are always going back to the documentation, trying to figure out what tools are available to them, um, and also if there's already tools that are made to do the things they need to do. So if we scroll down here, this is a list of all the different functions contained within the math module. And there's a lot. Don't try and memorize them. The ones that you use regularly you'll memorize, but what you want to get good at is reading the documentation. And so let's stop and let's take a look at this one right here. Math.gcd. So this is this this function, given two values, will find the greatest common divisor of them. And so presumably if I take that line and I copy that line into my program, then that should generate the greatest common divisor of two integers. So I have a new program up here on the side. And I'm going to copy that in exactly as I see it, but I'm going to do it in an assignment statement. So I'm going to say x is equal to math dot gcd 12 and 6. So I want to find the greatest common divisor of 12 and 6 and then print it out. And I have an error. So I take a look and I make sure that I've spelled this correctly, and sure enough I have. And it still doesn't work. Well, it turns out you have to do this. And that solves the problem. So now, let's give this a run, and there it goes. Let's talk about what happened here. If we delete this line and we try and run it again, we get a very specific error. It says, math is not defined. So let's step away from programming for a second. And let's imagine you're really good at fixing things, and all your friends know this. So your friend calls you up and says, I need you to come over to help me fix something at my house and you have 10,000 toolboxes. Are you going to put all of those toolboxes in your truck and bring them all over? Probably not. You're probably going to take a couple standard toolboxes, if you don't know anything about the problem, and bring them over to your friend's house. That makes sense. If your friend called you up and said, you know, I have a problem, I need you to help me fix something, and it's specifically, my drain isn't working. Maybe you have a toolbox that's specifically packed for plumbing issues then you would bring that plumbing toolbox along with you in addition to those standard toolboxes. Programming works the same way. There are thousands of modules, and you only use a very small portion of them as a programmer. So what happens is when you run a Python program, and this is the same for many languages, only certain core modules are preloaded that you can access. And it turns out the math module isn't one of them. So in the case that you want to use a module that isn't preloaded, you have to import it at the top, just like we've done up here. And so by saying this, you're essentially saying, okay, take all those math functions and bring them in for me, and now I can access them. And in fact, once you've done that, now I can type in math, and you'll notice that it actually will, the PyCharm will give me all the list of all the different functions that are available to me, and look at them all. There's wonderful ones. You can pull out a value of pi that's really accurate. You can do power, you can work in radians, you can do sine, you can do square root. So there's lots of different types of functions that are available to you. So that is how we use the math module in Python 3. In my next video, I'm going to actually really quickly make um, Pythagoras, Pythagorean, or Pythagorean, <laughs> a red angle triangle calculator. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them. And if you would like any specific videos, by all means, please ask.